Howdy, JBSA. This is Brigadier General Driggers, the Commander of JBSA and 502nd Air Base Wing, here with uh, today's edition of Ask Away JBSA. And I'm Jason Wilkinson from the 502nd Air Base Wing Public Affairs. Thank you so much for joining us today, Absolutely. sir. Uh, our first question is about the gas station here at uh, Fort Sam, and people are kind of curious about the status of that, and if you can tell us a little bit about how that's going. Sure, that's a great question. Yeah, we had some damage that occurred during a, a rainstorm several months ago, and a bunch of the ceiling uh, started to fall out onto the gas station uh, uh, pumps, and so we had to close it down for safety for the community, and as the team cleared out a lot of the debris and started to inspect the the structure, they found that there was a lot of more damage than they thought. And so uh, for the community safety, AFES is going to have to remove the whole thing. Unfortunately, as they've done the asbestos uh, testing, they found asbestos there as well. So that means it's going to take a lot more time. And now what that does is that means AFES is going to have to take a little bit bigger, longer term decision because they do have plans for a new gas station. And so it's a financial decision on whether they remove the whole thing uh, or just remove the awning and allow gas to be pumped in the elements, which is unfortunate, but may be necessary for our community. So we're waiting for us, uh, AFES to make that assessment on how best to proceed. Awesome, thank you, sir. Yep, absolutely. So our next question uh, is about the school board appointments and uh, whether or not community members, uh, military members can be on that school board and kind of how that works. So. Sure, no, that's a great question. So we've done a little bit of work uh, to uh, revamp the school board nomination process. Uh, it's important to note that these aren't uh, DIA schools. They're not Department of Defense Education Activity Schools. They're actually Texas Independent School Districts. And so we abide by Texas law. Because they're on our facilities, though, uh, we do play a part. I play a part, as does the school and youth program services, uh, to work through the school board nomination process. And so the school board nomination processes, uh, we've worked on uh, upgrading how they are uh, promoted, how they're uh, advertised, so that people can put their name in the, in the ring to, to, uh, to seek uh, nomination positions, and military members can serve. Oh, awesome, awesome, thank you, sir. And then our final question for this episode is, uh, is about the child care here at JBSA. We get a lot of questions about child care and kind of how that situation is going and, and what JBSA is doing to help. You sure, child sure. Care. No, that's a good question. And, and, you know, that's one of the key concerns when someone comes to a new installation is how are they going to, how are my child going to be taken care of? And uh, unfortunately, across JBSA at all of our main installations, all of our main locations, uh, we do have a shortage of child care capacity. So there's a waiting list. Uh, the first thing is, is we've actually gotten a lot of advocacy through uh, Headquarters Air Force, and I'm proud to say that uh, we do have three military construction programs for three new CDCs, uh, one each at Randolph, Fort Sam, Houston, and at Lackland. Uh, Fort Sam will be the first one to break ground, uh, followed by Randolph and then Lackland, and we're hoping we'll have them online in fiscal year 25, 26, which is really good news uh, for uh, JBSA, and that's going to bring uh, the capacity way up. In the meantime, people still need to find uh, places for their child care, and so uh, encourage folks to take a look at there are off-base options. Child Care Aware of America is a program to help connect families to the resources, as well as uh, the Military Child Care in Your Neighborhood program. And so if, the, if you all take a look at the comments on the bottom of this post, you'll be able to find the links to those programs. And if nothing else, call our 502nd FSS uh, folks and they can get you in contact with our Child and Youth Services program and they can uh, provide uh, access to those resources. Yes, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Thanks, JBSA.